So this right here is my entire collection of books. And probably the question I get asked more than anything ever is how many of these have you actually read? And the answer is Honestly, I don't know, but I would like to find out, and so that's what we're going to do today. Firstly, let me start off by saying something. Buying books and reading books are two entirely different hobbies, and I thoroughly enjoy both, <laughs> okay? The most useful way I've had anyone talk about this is that buying books is like buying wine. You buy a bottle that you know you will enjoy at some point in the future, but not necessarily right now. So you have your collection, and then at a time when you know you're going to really enjoy that bottle or that book, you bring it out and you enjoy it. I'm definitely a mood reader, so sometimes I buy a book that I know I'll be interested in in the future, but right now at this particular moment, I'm not necessarily in the mood to read it, if that makes sense. And so, as a result, I have quite an extensive collection of books. Over a thousand, <laughs> actually. And so, what I thought I would do today is go through all of these books, shelf by shelf, and find out how many of them I'm actually read. And while I thought it would be interesting to count them, I also thought it would be really cool to have a visual representation of how many of my books I've actually read. And so, I've always wanted to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each book and if I've read it, I will turn it around so you can only see the pages. Meaning shelf by shelf will only be left with the books that I haven't yet read facing spine outwards. And I think that'll be a really cool visual representation of what my TBR actually looks like, how many unread books I have in my home library. But I built this home library so I can play with it. <laughs> this is my Barbie dream house. This is the Mojo Dojo Casa house. And I for one have been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I think it's gonna be really cool. So this, by the end of the video, is going to look very, very different, but let's get started and see how many of my books I've actually read. I'm kind of nervous. I might be about to call myself out. On shelf number one, red, not red, 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 well, <laughs> that doesn't even sound like a word anymore, but red, red, not red, red, red. Let's change the word. Yes, 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 and yes. Okay, thank God I've read this one. This is my own book. Can you imagine if I was like, what is this one about? So now that means I'm gonna turn all of these around so they're facing the other way. And then that one stays facing out because I haven't yet read it. It's kind of an arm workout, not gonna lie. I do not need to go to the gym today anymore. Who am I kidding? I was not going to the gym today. Okay, and done. That looks so weird. By the way, that was a very high success rate. It will not be like that <laughs> going forward. So out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 35, 36, 37, 38 books on shelf one. I've read 36 and not read two. One down, <laughs> so many more to go. Okay, I gotta write this down because otherwise I will forget. Shelf two, let's go. This shelf is actually my first clean sweep. I've read every single one of the books on this shelf. Look how weird that is. It's so odd to see. It's kind of annoying that some of the um, pages are different colors because it's not the best representation, but you can see the two books so far that I am yet to read. Once I do this whole thing, I'm definitely gonna post a TikTok and pretend that this is the way I've decided to do my shelves and watch the internet threaten to kill me. Also, I just counted and weirdly, this shelf also has exactly 38 books on, same as that one. So currently that is 38 out of 38. That will not continue. Shelf three, done. I've read every book on this shelf bar one and that is Joan Didion's The White Album. And I love Joan Didion, but I'm kind of saving this one. The annoying one is this book because it has sprayed edges. This is a copy of You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen M. McManus, which she gave me when I interviewed her, which was very kind of her, but right now, it's kind of standing out. It looks like I haven't read it, but I actually have. So just ignore the books with the sprayed edges. I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about sprayed edges. Let me know what you think in the comment section. That shelf has 40 books on it and one unread. The next bookshelf has some books I wish I hadn't read. For example, Diary of an Oxygen Thief. And this one too, I had really high hopes for this book and was really let down. But that shelf was actually another clean sweep. 40 out of 40 I've read. This is where things start to go a little bit wrong. I'm noticing already a lot of books that I very recently bought <laughs> and have not yet read. Yeah. Yeah, as expected, this is our first quite colorful shelf. We have Hurricane Season, A Separation, New York, My Village, Opening Doors, Pineapple Street, Bad Diaspora Poems, Clytemnestra, oh, what's this one? Gaelic War Book, House of Blood and Earth, and Mayflies. Out of 34 books, 
10 are unread. Next up, 32 books on this shelf, so they must be getting longer as we go down, and nine that I haven't yet read. We have The Salmon Who Dead Sleep Higher. I've had this book for so many years, it's actually inexcusable that I haven't read it yet. These books I just bought, so I think I can let myself off. Easy Riders, Raging Bulls, Letters to Mylena, Mrs. S, Penance, The Dog of the North, Miss Ice Cream Sandwich. It's just Miss Ice Sandwich. Every time I talk about this book, I call it Miss Ice Cream Sandwich, but it's just Ms. Ice Sandwich. Sorry, Miyako Kawakami, I will get the name of your book right at some point. The Deloriad, The Ice Palace, and that's everything. 29 books on the next shelf down, 20 read, 9 unread. A lot of these are uh, hardback books, which is why they take up a little bit more space, but it's definitely not as strong as when we were up there. I miss her. And on the final shelf of unit number one, there were just two books that I haven't yet read. One is Perfume, that's a book I absolutely need to get around to. This is definitely a modern classic, which I really, really need to read. And then also this kind of gimmicky book, which is a collection of references of things that inspired Wes Anderson's new film. Oh, and I forgot to show you the unread ones on here. So we have another copy of The Dog of the North. This is the hardback edition. So that's kind of annoying because I lose two points <laughs> for not reading that book yet, since I have two copies of it. Um, then we have At Certain Points We Touch, love that title, Fire Rush, in Memoriam, that's my next read, Sour Grapes, Children of Paradise, The Book of Goose, and Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies. Oh, and The Cloud Reader, a poetry collection. Now that bottom shelf actually has 53 books, so it's got a lot of my really short um, books on it as well. And so 50 read, 2 unread is not so bad, I, I'll take that, I can sleep at night with that. So there we are with shelf number one complete. How weird does that look? Okay, let me do some calculations. So of the 304 books that are on that unit, I have 272 read and 32 unread, or still to be read, I should say. Not bad for a boy with no talent, huh? I'll take that. We're off to a flying start, but we might have peaked a little bit early. I won't lie. And now, on to shelf number two. Firstly, we have 17 books. Three of them are unread. Firstly, A Court of Thorns and Roses. From what you guys tell me, I think this actually might be an achievement that I haven't read this yet. Maybe that's just self-preservation. This book, You're an Animal, literally arrived yesterday. So for that, I have an excuse. This one arrived three months ago. No excuse. I'm just on the next shelf down, which does have <laughs> my edition of the Bible. Now, actually, when I was at uni, I had to read this cover to cover for one of my modules. So it's with a lot of smugness that I can turn this one around. So that brings me to 12 read, six unread on the shelf of 18 books. Next shelf is a clean sweep of 17 books. The next shelf also has 17 books. Look, I may not read them all, but at least I'm consistent. And I've got 15 read, 2 unread. Oh my god, another clean sweep. You know what? I'm buzzing with that. 16 out of 16, baby. Sweet 16. Not gonna lie to you, it's all gone a bit wrong. It's gone a bit tits up at the bottom here. Let me just consult my notes. <laughs> On this shelf, there are 21 books, 13 read, 8 unread. Then this one, 14 books, 9 of which are read, and 5 are unread. And then, this shelf is a disaster, because for the first time, Time, the number of unread books is more than the number of read books. So there are 10 unread and 6 read for a total of 16. So I am calculating again. He's trying to do numbers again. Someone help him. 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 8 plus 5 plus 10. So I have 34 unread books on that shelf. And then read books we have 12 plus 17 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 13 plus 9 plus 6 is 102. So 102 read, 34 unread, which would be a total of 136. Okay, 34 unread on that shelf, 32 unread on that shelf, so currently I have 66 books. 66 books that I have not yet read. And we still have two massive shelves to go. Hmm, maybe this is like public humiliation. Maybe I should not be making this video. <laughs> also, I just wanted to let you know that today's video is very, very kindly brought to you by Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform if you want to build a website or an online brand. They have hundreds of incredible templates, which are the perfect starting point, which you can use as a launch pad to build your dream website and basically turn your vision into a reality with no coding experience or web design experience required, which is really essential because because often your website is the first impression someone will get of your business and your brand. You can keep people up to date with what's going on behind the scenes using the blogging feature, so you can share little bits and bobs of what you're up to, and also there are great analytical tools built into Squarespace as well. So if all of this sounds good to you, which I'm sure it does, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch your beautiful new website, you can use the code jackedwards at squarespace.com slash jackedwards to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. You're welcome, and while you do that and create a beautiful website, 
I'll be right here. Okay, let me do the first three shelves of unit three and I'll do some editing magic and you'll see it very quickly. That saves you some time. Imagine my horror when I was going through these thinking I've got another clean sweep and then this one pops up. Damn it, that was going so well. A little bit more color at the top here. So we have 37 books on shelf one and 20 of them are red, 17 of them are unread. Then again, 20 red and 15 unread because there's 35 on the second shelf. And then in brighter news, <laughs> in happier news, this shelf has 35 books, 34 of them I've read, one I have not. And now, Onwards. 40 red, 3 unread. I might do a little time lapse of me doing these last four shelves. How about that? I feel like that might be quite satisfying to watch. It is not satisfying doing it. It's actually kind of painful because I know I have to turn all these back over again. And I've already been doing this for over an hour. <laughs> it's genuinely very time consuming. And in case it wasn't clear, no, I will not be organizing my bookshelves like this in the future. I hate it. These are some books that I bought very, very recently, but I'm very, very excited about. I really need to get around to reading Real Life by Brandon Taylor. And this book here, The View is Exhausting, has been in so many monthly TBRs and I've never got around to it. I've heard great things about the list. This just came out and everyone is very hyped about it. Okay, those shelves slightly less impressive. So I had 39 red versus four unread, 23 red versus 16 unread, 17 red versus 13 unread, and 22 red versus 12 unread. So, the maths is mathing. Well, more like the calculator is calculating. Oof, 81 unread books on that shelf. That's more than the other two combined. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> it's getting worse, but 215 red. So that's still pretty good going, I think. So that is 296 overall. And now, the final shelf. This seemed like such a good idea <laughs> when I was back over here. <sighs> Why do I do these things? Thing, little guy. You kept barking every time I put the books in. It sounded a bit like someone knocking on the door. I will, I will give you that. I get it. You just wanna, you're just trying to keep me safe. And I appreciate you. But <laughs> there we go. That's crazy. So we have got 21 red, 11 unread, 19 red, 14 unread, 21 red, 15 unread, 12 red, 19 unread. This was a flop, I'm not gonna lie. That is, that's the flop of the century. 29 red, 10 unread, 22 red, 10 unread, 17 red, nine unread, and 27 red. We went out with a bang. This unit combined is the unit that needs the most attention because there are 88 unread books on this shelf, but 168 that have been read. So this is kind of what it looks like. I just need to do these ones at the top and then we're done. This is where it would be very useful to have a footstool, which I don't yet have. All of these are red, so that's good. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. I'm hoping they will continue to stand up. Okay, they said absolutely not. We'll just put them up here temporarily. Okay, most of these at the top I have read. Aside from all of those, okay, I take back. I would like to retract my previous statement. I have read this one though, start to finish, during my degree, Theory and Criticism of English Literature. Damn. Okay, if I drop these on my head, it will be very funny. Ow! Balls! Oh my god! Oh, the funny bone! The funny bone! I know! I know! This one came to check if I was okay. <laughs> and the answer is no. I'm not okay. Does this look like the work of someone who's okay to you? <laughs> um, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Kind of perilous, actually. And for what? Really and truly, why? Why am I risking my life? If one of these hardbacks falls on my head at the wrong angle, I am absolutely screwed. I've actually read all of these. <laughs> I read these for a video one time. Okay, I think that means we're done. Just look at this. This is absolutely <laughs> unhinged. Also, we started off so strong and ended less strong, <laughs> but this shelf is definitely full of books that I've bought very recently. Also, I was just thinking about the fact that if this is my book collection when I'm 24, AKA now, imagine how cool my book collection is gonna be when I'm like 50. Imagine all the books I would have read then. What? I'm not even at the end of Q1, but I think what I've learned here is that I do need to go on a book buying ban until I've read 
until I've read some of these. So up there I have 32 read, 16 unread, totaling 48 books. So now I just need to do the final calculations. By the way, did you ever think you would see so much maths on the Jack Edwards YouTube channel? Because I didn't, and I want it to stop immediately. <laughs> this is a channel for words, not numbers. Come on now. But um, okay, let's work this out. Okay, so 304 books plus 136 books plus 296 books plus 256 books plus 48 books makes 1,040 books in the home library. And of those 1,040 books, I have read 272 on the first shelf, 102 on the second shelf, 215 on the third shelf, 168 on the fourth shelf, and then 32 at the top, which totals 789 books read. Versus, this is the moment of truth, this is how many books I have not yet read. And then I have not read 32 books on this shelf, 34 books on the second shelf, 81 books on the third shelf, and 88 books on the fourth shelf, and then 16 of the ones at the top. That is 251 unread books. Oh, that's not, <laughs> that's not good. Oh dear. Oh no. But like I said, at the beginning of the video. These are all of the bottles of wine that I've collected and I'm yet to drink, <laughs> right? No, this is just literary alcoholism. Maybe this is a cry for help. I think that it's time that I <laughs> went on a book buying ban and focus on the books I already own. In fact, I'm gonna go through these books that I haven't yet read. Thankfully, they're very easy <laughs> to identify, like so, and basically pick out the 10 books that I need to read ASAP, ASAP Rocky. Okay, let's do it. I feel like Dominicana is a book that I've been meaning to read for a really long time. I need to get around to this one. Also, Blueberries. This is um, an essay collection which I've heard so many good things about and have wanted to read for a long time. I mean, Joan Didion's The White Album. That is crying out my name. And I just love Joan Didion so much. So um, I think The White Album is a must read. A Court of Thorns and Roses, not you. Oh, maybe NW by Zadie Smith. So many of my favorite authors say this is their favorite book of all time. And so if this inspired a lot of my favorite books, I feel like I'm gonna really love this one. So NW is on the list too. What else? Okay, well these two books, if you watch my monthly TBR videos over on my second channel, these two are in my next TBR. Penance by Eliza Clark, loved her first book and a really exciting debut author, S. Patrick with Mrs. S. I've heard this is a great read for the summer as well. It's kind of set at the end of a sticky summer in Australia. So these two are books that I recently acquired, but I am desperate to read. This one, <laughs> In Memoriam, desperate to read this. Met Alice Wynn at Hay Festival. In fact, I even have a signed dedicated edition. So there's really no excuse at this point. Um, this I'm predicting to be a five-star read. This is one I wanna to get to very soon. Ooh, Wandering Souls by Cecil Penn. Also look at the inside pages. Beautiful. Two more, let's see. Ooh, maybe this one. This is A Little Luck by Claudia Pinheiro. Loved her first book so much called uh, Elena Knows, one of my favorite books that I read last year. If not my favorite book, I think about it all the time. And this is her follow-up, this is her second book and I cannot wait to read it. And then finally, I feel like I should go with one I've had on my shelves for a really long time. Oh, this one, Tan, Juan Eng, The Garden of Evening Mists. I think all of his books have been shortlisted for the Booker Prize, which is insane. He's released three books and all three have been shortlisted, or at least longlisted. He just had his third one announced as being on the Booker Prize list, so I need to read some of his work. So this is The Garden of Evening Mists. So I guess I just made a TBR, so hopefully you'll see reviews of all of these books coming very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> I keep looking at the viewfinder and I actually can't believe that I did this and that I now have to put them all back. Like, if you need me for the foreseeable future, I will be here reversing this. Uno reverse card, because I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, it's the next day now, and that was supposed to be the whole video, until basically yesterday I posted a TikTok of my shelves, and someone commented and planted the seed saying, you should do this, but in reverse. So only books I haven't yet read are facing the other way and then your kind of TBR is random. So you pick out a book and you don't know what book it's gonna be. And I was like, no, that'll be so time consuming. I'm not doing that unless, <laughs> and now I'm gonna do it. The seed was planted and has now grown into a tree of procrastination. This, I have things to do today. I'm gonna do this instead for your viewing entertainment and also for my curiosity <laughs> and also for TikTok. So let's do that and I'm gonna flip all of these and basically invert what I did. And I'm hoping this won't take too long. It might take a while. Okay, it is done.
and this is what it now looks like. Kind of a bit more back to normal. Was this a complete waste of time? Yes. For more things like this, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will leave the links down below. Subscribe for more from me. Give this video a like if you liked it, if you like, and I will see you very, very soon. All the best, stay in touch. Bye-bye.